In the spring of 2022, Nagasaki University announced that 5-aminolavunic acid, commonly known as 5-ala, which is a natural amino acid, was found to suppress the infection of coronavirus. This announcement has attracted a lot of attention. 5-ALA is sold as supplements, functional foods, and skincare products, but its origins are very old, dating back to the beginning of life, some 3.6 billion years ago, and we ourselves produce it every day in our own bodies. In recent years, various uses of its unique properties have been attracting attention. As a surgical diagnostic agent for brain tumors and bladder cancer, it has been approved for insurance coverage in Japan. Useful for cancer treatment by illuminating only cancer cells. Some of you may have heard about it on the news. Five ALA is expected to have healing and improvement effects, not only for cancer, but also for aging symptoms, among others. Some may say it's too versatile, but all it does is to improve the function of mitochondria. The effects of 5 ALA on the Omicron strain. In this program, we interviewed a key person. Dr. Kiyoshi Kita of Nagasaki University presented this initiative. After completing his graduate studies at the University of Tokyo's Graduate School of Pharmaceutical Sciences, he was stationed overseas with the Japan International Cooperation Agency before returning to the University of Tokyo to pursue his research. Since 2015, Dr. Kita has served as Dean of the Graduate School of Tropical Medicine and Global Health at Nagasaki University. He presented the results of this research. The catalyst for this research came in the course of his long-standing research on medicine used to treat malaria. Roughly 90 to 95 percent of malaria deaths in Africa are among children under the age of five. So I was trying to find something that would be safe to take and effective and at a low price. When I heard that 5 ALA might be effective for malaria patients, I was asked to conduct an experiment for demonstration. Now let's look at the process by which 5 ALA suppresses coronavirus infection. As for the part that works against the Omicron strain, there are two methods. One is that it inhibits and suppresses the entry of coronavirus into the cells. One of the mechanisms by which 5 ALA is said to suppress coronavirus infection is by blocking invasion itself. 5 ALA forms eight clusters and further binds protoporphyrin 9 with iron, producing a product called heme. These compounds bind to the spikes of the virus and prevent invasion. Furthermore, these compounds also bind to receptors in our cells, blocking viral entry. This mechanism holds promise for prevention. However, even if the virus is blocked from entering the cell, it may still be able to pass through. If it does enter the cell, it now uses a different process to block the virus from multiplying. The second process is to inhibit the growth of viruses that have slipped through. It does this by the inhibition of replication and multiplication of viruses that have entered our cells, by binding of protoporphyrin 9 heme and other compounds of 5 ALA to the G4 structure, which is a 4 guanine linkage in the virus's gene. This is expected to be used in the treatment after infection. 
The fact that 5-ALA, which was originally found in our own bodies and in nature, has been approved for use in healthcare products for more than a decade, has this kind of effect is truly an interesting aspect of science, says Dr. Kita. Most of the general public has never heard of 5-ALA. 5-ALA, for example, is hemp, the substance responsible for the red color of our blood. It is also the substance responsible for the green color of plants, which is due to chlorophyll. In fact, it is a natural amino acid that we universally produce in our bodies. I don't think anyone would have thought that 5-ALA would be so useful in the prevention of various infections, diseases, and health treatments. Even if a compound itself has existed for a long time, new things are being elucidated more and more through the ingenuity of ideas and usage. Currently, Dr. Kita is working on various testing and verification procedures to bring the results of this research to us. This requires the cooperation of other scientists and government agencies. We are currently compiling papers and establishing clinical evidence in specific clinical studies. Specific clinical studies have already shown that 5-ALA is also effective against the after effects of infectious diseases. So I would like to see such preventative and therapeutic effects recognized as soon as possible. Furthermore, we would like to receive support to transition these findings into practical steps that can be used for patients. Next time, we will analyze in detail the data provided by people suffering from the after effects of infectious diseases. Next up is Dr. Kyoko Imamura, who tracks the effects of 5-ALA. This red graph is a graph showing that the feeling of fatigue is gradually disappearing on the right shoulder. Aminolevulinic acid is actually made in our body, and we use it all day, every day, as energy. After this, it's question time. I asked about actual use and efficacy. Stay tuned until the end. I think most of the general public don't know about 5-ALA. 5-ALA is, for example, him, the substance that makes our blood red. Chlorophyll is the main reason why plants are green, but it is also the source of the chlorophyll. So, except for researchers in hem metabolism, I don't think anyone has shown any interest in 5-ALA. In fact, it is a natural amino acid that we universally produce in our bodies. At first, no one thought that 5-ALA would be useful in preventing and treating various infectious diseases. Science shows that even if a substance has been present for a long time, new discoveries can be made by innovative ideas and approaches. I think it's probably effective for the after effects of COVID-19. However, although there will be individual differences, I think that it is not surprising that it works. We have been researching 5-ALA because it is actually effective in treating malaria. 
There is also data that it is also effective against other viral infections. We ourselves are now in a situation where we can directly obtain data on important viral infections other than corona. Therefore, it can be said that it is effective against various viral infections. Five Ala has an anti-inflammatory effect. There have been clinical reports of administering Five Ala directly to people in a comatose state, resulting in a quick awakening. The mechanism of its anti-inflammatory effect is also well understood. While there are various mechanisms at play in treating hay fever, we believe there is a possibility of its efficacy, not just by suppressing inflammation alone. For example, fermented foods. It is also said that natto, sake leaves, sake, and wine contain a lot of it. It is true that they contain a lot, but the amount is not enough for what our body needs. For example, it requires drinking 5 to 6 liters of wine just to consume 15 milligrams. Of course, it is not a bad thing to consume it regularly as part of your diet. But as you age, your ability to produce the necessary amount of 5 ala decreases. So, I think supplements are probably efficient to make up for it. He usually has a good personality and is really like a saint. However, when it comes to his research, he is sharp and rigorous. Demonstration experiments have proven that 5 ala is effective against malaria. As basic research, several mechanisms were considered as to why it works. The important thing is to verify them one by one. One of them is a very important part, but it seems that 5 ala not only attacks the malaria parasite, but also penetrates a special structure in the gene. Then, the pandemic broke out around the world, and COVID-19 had a similar genetic structure. I thought that it might work against it, so I tested it in a test tube and found that it worked as expected. That was the beginning. Of course, I am sure it will work. I myself used to have a so-called BMI, body mass index, of about 26. But once I started taking 5 ala daily, the number did not increase above 25, even with the same casual diet. This is because, in principle, 5 ala activates mitochondria which burn fat stored in the body. It won't make you look thinner with a higher dosage, but it will lower your BMI if taken appropriately and will be effective for weight loss. Many people, including acquaintances, have experienced improvements in their sleep, although individual differences exist. This can be attributed to the fact that 5 ala has a scientific basis for its effectiveness in reducing blood sugar levels. In a large-scale research study on 5 ala, a survey was conducted asking if there were any other noticeable effects. Many respondents reported that it helped them wake up in the morning. I looked into that, and it certainly works. 
The mechanism has not yet been explained, but it does seem to be a phenomenon that helps people to wake up in the morning. To be honest, there are individual differences, but the mitochondria in the hair follicles also become more and more metabolically active, so there is a possibility of promoting hair growth. As with over-the-counter hair growth agents, I do not believe that everyone will necessarily experience hair growth, but I can say that there is a possibility, although it varies from person to person. In terms of anti-aging, there are clearly people with high and low responses. This is also known from research results in the Middle East and Japan. And in short, I think that it is due to the fact that some people have high metabolic activity and others have low metabolic activity to make him from five ala. Although there are individual differences, at least there are results in animal experiments, that it is effective for anti-aging. We believe that similar effects can be expected in humans. I don't have data on that myself, so although I haven't heard about the results of such experiments, I feel that the overall body is revitalized, and as a result it has a positive effect on the recovery of such functions. When the liver breaks down alcohol, it produces acetaldehyde. Since the mitochondria in the liver are activated, the acetaldehyde produced by alcohol decomposition is decomposed, and the mechanism that prevents hangovers can be explained logically. I haven't done a hangover verification experiment, but if you think about metabolism, I think you can easily understand it. I myself was born and raised in Tokyo, but my father is from Omura City, Nagasaki Prefecture, where Nagasaki Airport is located. I had no idea that I would be working at Nagasaki University. Therefore, I believe that I have some mysterious connection to Nagasaki Prefecture. Nagasaki University is a mecca for research on infectious diseases in Japan, and I frequently visited there for collaborative research when I was working at the University of Tokyo. In that sense, it may be an inevitable coincidence. Historically, Nagasaki Prefecture has been a place where people come from other areas, take time to rejuvenate themselves so they can return home refreshed. Sakamoto Ryoma is known for being from Tosa Kochi Prefecture, and he too came to Nagasaki to recharge himself. Western medicine was also introduced and spread in Japan through Nagasaki Prefecture as a gateway. Even today, many young researchers recharge their energy in Nagasaki and disseminate their new research results to the world. Nagasaki is a small city, but I believe it has potential because it is a land that has recovered from the atomic bombing and is doing very well. It is true that the sky is rainy today, but the people of Nagasaki are always cheerful in their hearts. I think Nagasaki is a wonderful city to live in. Regarding mental health, a team from Hiroshima University has already published a paper. The conclusion is that it is effective. 
Hiroshima University gathered a large amount of people who are very easily fatigued and anxious and compared the results between those who took five ala and those who did not. The results clearly showed a difference between those who took five ala and those who did not. Those who took it felt less anxious and less tired. This result has been published in a paper, and I believe it is effective for mental health. In this specific clinical study, conducted by Dr. Kyoko Imamura, they observed the response to effects of anxiety. This can be interpreted as the mitochondria in the nervous system being activated to produce more ATP, adenosine triphosphate, an energy substance, so the nervous system works better. This is a characteristic of 5 ala which is originally made in our bodies. So in this sense, it is almost completely free of toxicity. Another feature of 5 ala is that it is metabolized very quickly. When you take a capsule, the blood concentration peaks in about three hours. After three hours, the capsules are almost completely excreted in urine. Therefore, it does not accumulate in the body and act negatively. In other words, only the necessary amount is distributed in the body and the rest is expelled. So, there are people who have been taking it continuously for decades with no side effects. As a supplement, it is very safe to take. You may take it from a young age, but the amount of 5 ala produced by the body peaks at age 17 and then declines. However, taking it in our 40s may be sufficient. If you are still relatively healthy in your early 40s, you do not need to take it. If you get easily tired or effortlessly drunk or begin to experience subjective symptoms such as fatigue or difficulty sleeping soundly, it would be a good idea to take the supplements. In conclusion, adults can take up to 400 milligrams a day without any major side effects. Occasionally, some people experience their stools turning black and stop taking it. Basically, you can take up to 400 milligrams, so you can take eight tablets of 50 milligrams. However, there is no need to take so much, usually one to two tablets of 15 milligrams a day, which is enough to make you feel better and reduce blood sugar. That's actually how it works. There are no particular issues with combining them. This is because the body's cells produce 5 ala naturally, so it is already present in the body. However, in science it is not possible to state that something is completely problem-free. Therefore, it could only be said that the risk is extremely low and it cannot be stated with 100% certainty that there are no problems. However, at this point, there are no reports of such issues. Natural amino acids are essential for our survival. When it becomes difficult to obtain these from our daily diet, it is important to supplement them to maintain our health. In the case of 5 ala in particular, it is useful as a medicine for malaria 
and viral infections. So I believe that amino acids are a godsend given to us by nature. Our bodies are basically proteins, which means that they are made of amino acids. In this sense, amino acids should be considered a gift from heaven. And we need to take good care of them.